Sorry if I'm crooked. For some reason, something doesn't look... Anyways, let's get right into this. I really kind of want to be sarcastic and snarky about this, but this um, situation is near and dear to my heart. Um, because I spent years driving a... Um, operating a tow truck. And I am... Um, took classes in recovery. <clears throat> I uh, am having a hard time with it. But almost every year, even since I've retired, unfortunately, medically retired from the towing industry, I hear of a friend of mine, whether it be real life or Facebook, that has gone out and ditched their vehicle in the snow or ice. And 99% of the time, it was a four-wheel drive or an all-wheel drive. I get pretty riled up. When I was a recovery specialist, <laughs> the whole time I drove a tow truck, the whole years of my life that I drove... 90% um, of the vehicles that I was pulling off of a ditch or from the side of the road or even including the rollovers during the snow and the ice were four-wheel slash all-wheel drive vehicles. People while four-wheel drive may give you a little more traction to take off, I won't debate that. But till my dying day, I will push the fact that four-wheel drive does absolutely nothing to stop. You need... Um, well, I shouldn't say you need... But four-wheel drive is not going to help you any more than two-wheel drive when it comes to stopping. Four-wheel drive seems to give, or all-wheel drive seems to give uh, a very sad sense of, oh, I can do it. Yeah, you can get that four-wheel drive right down that ditch. No doubt about it. Use chains. Um... You know, here in, and here in the valley, most of the time, at least in Salem area, you don't even, there, there's very limited time where you actually need even that. And stud of tires just tear up the road. I hate stud of tires. Um, you know, if you're driving an emergency vehicle, maybe it's a little bit different story, but I never even have stud of tires on any of the tow trucks. Um, if we need it to, we put chains on. Um... There's so many stories I could tell. But. Please. Don't be that person. <clears throat> Although. I have access to. A, um, a vehicle now. And while I don't have a winch on it. Um, I will have chains for it. And it does have four wheel drive. So if you want a cheaper towing bill. When you ditch your four wheel drive. Call me. And I will come get you out. And, you know, I don't even necessarily need a winch because I can use come-alongs. But that's a whole nother story. The thing is, don't get cocky. Snow and ice, it's nothing, nothing to mess with. And the snow here is different because it's wetter and in some ways it's it's worse than other places that get lots more snow than we do not all places but in some um i've seen it all too many times so with that being said um yeah
have fun. And I don't know. I could go on and on about this. I, I've seen death because, you know, I got four wheel drive. I can just put it in a four wheel drive. That's great. Yep. Put it in a four wheel drive. Take off from a stoplight. And then um, here's my number so you can call me when you put your vehicle in the ditch. I never like to go into the scene of any accident. Uh, kids are involved sometimes. Innocent people are involved. And my least favorite was, even though I very seldom maybe seen a body, there was one time, that's a whole other story. But, um, yeah. Um, <clears throat> maybe I'm a little more sentimental than some. I don't know. Please don't get caught up in the four-wheel drive and all-wheel drive is uh, is so much better than two-wheel drive. Because when it comes to snow and ice, um, those are not going to help you stop anymore. And Hey, have a good evening.